When blueberry season hits, you have to take advantage of it. Today, I'm showing you one of my all-time favorite blueberry recipes, blueberry cobbler. This recipe is perfectly sweet and bursting with fresh berries. Then it's topped with a biscuit-like dough that's light and airy. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make. Like this blueberry cobbler, it tastes just like summer. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing we need to do to make our blueberry cobbler is to get our blueberries going. So to a large bowl, you can pretty much guarantee this is gonna be the wrong size, but <laughs> we'll just start out like that. We're gonna add some sugar. And then to our sugar, we're going to add cornstarch. Now cornstarch is going to help this um, berry filling thicken up a bit. And then just a pinch of salt in there. And then I'm just going to mix that around to get everything combined. And in the humidity of summer, the sugar always clumps together, but that's okay. It will all bake out in the end. Now to this, we're going to add some lemon zest. So I'm going to zest this lemon. And this really gives it a nice brightness. Don't skip the lemon zest step. It's so worth it. So I'm just running it over a rasp and I'm not going too deep because you don't want that white part that's what gets the, brings the bitter flavor. We don't want any bitterness, we just want the brightness. And all the really good lemon flavor is in the oils in the skin, that's why we're zesting it. Now to this, we're going to add some blueberries. So here I've cleaned and washed some blueberries. I'm going to put them in slowly because I'm noticing some of them have stems on them. So if you see that as you're, as you're putting them in there, just go ahead and take them off. There's a couple. Or if you see any bad berries, this is the time when you're gonna to wanna to pick those out. So now we're going to give these a stir. Now I just love blueberry recipes. My parents had, oh, when I was a kid, about an acre of blueberry bushes. So we have had every blueberry recipe you can imagine. We've made or people have made for us when we've allowed, allowed them to pick berries and they bring us something. So my mother's recipe box is loaded with lots of delicious blueberry recipes. There's nothing like going down and picking blueberries fresh off the bush where like they still taste like sunshine because they're warm from the sun. Oh, it's awesome. So we're going to add a squirt of lemon juice to this. I'm just going to have my lemon here and just right over my hand with my fingers slightly just a little bit apart so I can catch those seeds as they come through. I'm just gonna juice that lemon. Perfect. And another quick stir. Now the great thing is, as these blueberries cook, they're gonna turn syrupy and all these flavors are gonna come together. So you don't have to worry about being too precise here. So now we're going to pour our berries into our baking dish and I like to use a ceramic or metal dish for this because it's going to go into a hot, hot oven. So the glass, I don't know, I'm just nervous about it breaking. So I like to use a ceramic dish for this recipe. So we're putting the blueberries on a parchment lined baking sheet because if they bubble over, the, the baking sheet with the parchment paper will catch all of that ooze and it won't leave your oven a mess. Okay, we're going to Pop this into the oven and get those blueberries going so that they start to burst and start to make that nice, deep purple blueberry juice. And while that's happening, we are going to work on the biscuit layer. So now we are going to start making the topping for our cobbler, and it's a biscuit-like topping. So it starts with flour, just some all-purpose flour. And to that, we're gonna add just a little bit of sugar. And then we're gonna add some baking powder give it a little bit of lift, and some baking soda. And last but not least, a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to stir those together lightly just to get all of our dry ingredients combined. So I'm going to swap our dry ingredients out for our wet ingredients because we're gonna get those together next. So here I have melted butter and some buttermilk. And I'm just going to combine the two of them now. I have a recipe on my website. If you don't have buttermilk, which I didn't, you can easily make your own. And that is so super easy to do with ingredients you probably have on hand. So if you forget your buttermilk, no worries, I got you. 
So we're gonna combine this and you're gonna notice the butter starts to clump and that's, see how it's clumping up? Perfectly okay because we're adding the cold milk to the warm butter. So it's just solidifying. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is combine the wet and the dry ingredients. We're just gonna pour that butter, buttermilk mixture right in there. And then we're going to gently stir it together and get everything incorporated. We don't wanna over mix it. So we're just going to gently stir. And it is going to be a little wet and that's okay. The buttermilk helps the um, baking powder the, you know, the acid and the base reactions. Remember that from chemistry class, acid and bases. Um, it's going to give it a little bit of lift and really help it get nice and fluffy and tender. That's why buttermilk pancakes are usually super fluffy. Okay, we're just going to let our biscuit dough hang out. And then when our blueberries come out, we're gonna top it and then get it back in the oven. Okay, so our berries have done their first cook. I'm just gonna give them a stir. And you can see how it's already starting to, they're starting to pop and just do their whole blueberry juiciness thing. That's just what we're looking for. Okay, so on top of this, we are going to place our biscuit dough. So I just have a big serving spoon here and I'm gonna make nothing precise, just dollops. Now that our biscuits are on the pie, we're going to sprinkle them with some sugar. It's gonna give it a nice little crunch on the outside of the biscuit. It's okay if some goes into the berries like I just did. Okay, perfect. Now, remember we turned our oven up, so it's a nice hot temperature. We're going to pop the cobbler back into that hot oven, let those biscuits get brown, and then we're gonna take them out and one more little step to really take this cobbler over the top. Okay, so our cobbler is done. Now I have some melted butter. Final step is we're just going to brush this melted butter all over our biscuits, whoops. Okay, we're gonna let this hang out and cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna dive in and take a bite. I cannot wait to dive into this. This is gonna be so good. All right, I'm going here. I like to just serve it with biscuit by biscuit. Look at that. This is like perfection. Now, don't be stingy on the blueberries. It is perfectly fine just like this. But if you want to take this cobbler over the top, you can serve it with my stabilized whipped cream. You can get that recipe on It Is A Keeper or homemade vanilla ice cream. Mm, so good. But I can't wait any longer. So I'm just going in and take a bite of that biscuit and a big old spoonful of these berries. Bet you wish you were me right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Those sweet berries are just bursting in my mouth. Oh, this is so good. Dang, it's good. Mmm. The biscuit is just the right texture to go with these berries. And nothing, the biscuit isn't super sweet, so it's like the perfect balance. You guys are gonna love this. This blueberry cobbler is definitely a keeper. What's your favorite blueberry recipe? Let me know in the comments. And if you want another one of my favorite blueberry recipes, make sure you check out my Aunt Tony's blueberry coffee cake. It is to die for. Thanks for joining me today. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.